All right, here's a quick video on how to calculate gross profit in Salesforce. Uh, there are multiple ways to do this, but uh, I'm gonna show you today a way uh, that's pretty aligned with the Salesforce data model. I've seen some companies that don't really have a Salesforce background uh, come in and put their backs up against the wall by the way they, they choose to build this out. Uh, if you find this useful, go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions, emails in the description. I've also put down the steps that we're gonna take in this video today uh, to get this done. So I'm gonna jump into this test opportunity here. And you can see uh, one of the things that in order to use this method that uh, I'm gonna recommend is you need to have products, you need to have your product and price book set up in Salesforce. So if you haven't done that yet, I recommend searching uh, either a video on my channel or another video on YouTube on how to get that set up. Uh, but let's go over here and click into details. So first we've got this amount field. You can see I have my custom gross profit field here. Uh, and before I jump into the solution, you know, what I typically see is companies that sell multiple types of products, they might build out a field for each one of those products and, uh, you know, build a formula that concatenates everything together or subtracts everything or adds or whatever the formulas are for services and, and products that your business uses. They try to build it all out on the opportunity. Salesforce has this products and product book built out specifically for that use case. So first thing is to get, make sure you have your product book set up in Salesforce. Um, and then once you do that, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it's like to add one. So if I come over here and click any product, I'm gonna put in this product, uh, this uh, quantity, and you can see I, I uh, created this custom cost field. So this is not an out of the box field. I've created it and I can key this in. There are ways that uh, you could put the cost. Let's say your cost is never variable or it's fixed. You could edit it on the product. So that way, when you create the opportunity product or the product related to this opportunity, you could have a one-time automation that places it there. Uh, don't recommend using a formula because then if you change that, it, it will mess up all your historical data, if that makes sense. So if I sell something for $10 in January, the price goes up to $12 in July, and it's formula-based. Uh, if I change it, it's going to change everything to $12 is, is my end of my rant there. So you can see here, um, I've added another product. I think I messed up my... <laughs> uh, what I added as the ultimate cost on that one. I think I put one. Yeah, for cost, I put 125,000. I meant to put 12,500. So let me come back over here. Okay, so if I refresh this, you can see my total amount that I've sold, my gross profit, all the products that I've had, and if I click into one of these products, I can see, okay, what's my sales price? What's my quantity? What's my cost? You can see this is another one I jacked up. I'm losing $40,000 on this product, not a good sale. Um, and it spits out this formula. So I have one formula field on, I have one cost field, which is a standard key in currency field, a formula field, which just takes sales price minus cost. And then I have my gross profit, it, which is a roll-up field of all of the gross profit margins on each one of these products. Um, so with this model, you can see here that I'd be able to report on the margin of all of my products. I'd be able to report on the margin of, uh, or the profit margin or gross profit of my deal itself. Uh, so I can look at things holistically or in detail, and I don't have to create a field for every time I'm adding a type of service or, you know, I don't have to be vague with my product book. If I actually actually put in my product book, I can remain pretty detailed on what I'm offering, uh, what my costs are and what my amount is. Um, obviously, this can become complex if you have a uh, service or a product that is constantly changing prices. Um, there are some solutions to that. So if that is a problem that your business has, let me know and I'll, I'll let you know what I've seen in the past. But it's a simple uh, few step solution to how to calculate profit in Salesforce.